restaurants can contact customers if something's wrong with the order. Check it out on this segment of the Gig Geezer. How many times you've shown up at a restaurant and you've waited for the order and then you you speak with whoever it is uh, at the register or a designated pickup place and then they tell you that you have to contact a customer because we're out of this item that item or this drink or that drink or what have you and depending on the app you actually do go you actually do make the effort of contacting the customer to find out whether they want to um, go with a substitution or whatever 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 the adjustments going to be with the order before you leave the restaurant for delivery well today i had something different happen and i and i really believe that this may surprise y'all may not surprise you but it's different for me now i am in the midst of actually dropping off the second of two grubhub orders it was a stacked order from applebee and from Firehouse Sub. Um, now, I am, like I mentioned, I am still in the process of dropping off the Firehouse Sub order because the Applebee order has taken me much longer than expected. Now, um, credit the credit the restaurant for um, remedying this situation. To the point, I arrive at the customer's address. It was an apartment complex, and I just got out of my vehicle to retrieve her order and was about to go up two flights of stairs <laughs> not surprisingly huh I got a phone call and I noticed it was a Grubhub number and it was actually the customer she informed me that the restaurant Applebee's had contacted her about having given me the wrong order and that if it's possible could I come back to the restaurant and get the right order now the reason why I was willing to do that is because from Applebee's to the customer's address under normal driving conditions that drop off is like three to five minutes tops so I didn't mind driving back to pick up the order um, and upon upon getting the order um, it was actually the bartender um, the shift bartender who um, was the one who gave me the order and also got me the correct order but before leaving, I asked her, um, th that's unusual that the restaurant can contact the customer. She says, oh yeah, we can do that. And the reason being is because the customer's phone number is on the receipt. And she said that's also with any of the other apps, DoorDash, Bite Squad, or Uber Eats. The customer's phone number is on the app. So that tells me whenever the restaurant um, tells you that you, we need to contact the customer, it's because they are either too busy or too lazy or or both and actually it is not it is you can make the argument that it could be our responsibility to contact the customer but really it is the restaurant's responsibility to let the customer know what's going on really and truly because if you're dining there um they would have to let you know whether they have items or not or they don't have items and so, um, uh, for the sake of good business, it should be the restaurant's responsibility to inform the customer if they are out of items so that the, so that the necessary substitutions or adjustments can be made. Again, this is the first time I've actually had a customer to inform me that the restaurant contacted them about an order um, being incorrect. And so, or just the mere fact that the restaurant contacted the customer that is really the whole thing. I've completed over 4,000, uh, 40, I've completed over 4,100 DoorDash deliveries according to the app. I've completed over, altogether, over 1,800 uh, Uber Eats deliveries according to the app. And then according to, it's not, well, Grubhub does not give you actual number, but it is safe to say that I've completed over 3,000 deliveries for uh, Grubhub and probably another several hundred deliveries for uh, Bite Squad. So this is different, this is different. And I don't know how it's gonna change my attitude if and when a, a restaurant um, informs me of that, 
but it does say that they do not bear much responsibility in the process. All they care about is getting the order out, and that may be the case. And so, hey, I like your comments on this. If you like the con if you like the content in this segment of the Gig Geezer and any other segment of the Gig Geezer, hey, hit that subscribe button, give my content a thumbs up. I welcome your comments in the section below on this and any other segment of any other uploaded segment of the Gig Geezer on my channel and share my content with others. And with that, this is a quick segment of the Gig Geezer. I'm Inwood Lane, and as always, may your hustle continue.